This is my PC. I rarely use this thing, only for my Let's Plays videos. Okay, so, speaking of how I've been focusing a lot more on anarchism than I do with anti-statism, which is usually my forte, I need to step back to libertarianism, because that's the one I focus on the least now. So really, when you want to sum up libertarianism, libertarians are advocates of liberty. Liberty is a little different than freedom, that liberty seeks more social and economic, even political <laughs> to break those chains, to break those chains, not the psychological or metaphysical chains that freedom deals with. And those kinds of losses. Now how do you gain liberty? Now what the normal libertarianism, the natural rights libertarian would say is that you need to have some sort of writ of law. But here's the thing. There's a better way than written law. I mean with anarchists they use polycentric law as that's not hierarchical and you can expect that if someone fucks up they're more likely to be liable than if there is an authority which is kinda cool so how do you get that from how do libertarians get their sense of liberty from when there is a polycentric law they don't need a constitution We've seen that constitutions have been used for very negative aspects. And the constitution of the principalities of Fredona, Donia, and the United States constitution, those are very, very similar except for one fact that Fredonia's attempts to fix the United States' mistakes and ultimately fails. Constitutions don't work. Their message is arbitrary, and even if they have positive messages, how will you hold them liable? I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that there's fact that three governing parties, uh, branches of government, legislative, executive, judicial, that they'll have checks and balances and all this shit. But it's still hierarchical. There's going to be a tremendous limit. And that's where this concept comes along. There's a general concept that you got to look into, and that's the fact that with polycentric law, liberties are agreed upon. How will, the most, how will you grant the liberties that you want, that you need? they will be arbitrated. That means that any dispute, that's what libertarians want, while the anarchist wants a voluntary association, the libertarian wants a voluntary agreement. And you can have this by the arbiter. The arbiter, whether being collective, be governed or privately governed, publicly or privately, this person is going to try and help make the decisions and eventually this will end up being a situation where enough of these decisions have been made to the point where we can settle which decision is the right decision. And this can apply not just to what's illegal or what's a thing that you got to do, like good laws or bad laws, good laws that support good things and bad laws that are against bad things. But there's also got to be laws polycentrically that give you rights. So it could be agreed upon that if you have a house, it's a right that you need a toilet. Because after all, you might need an indoor toilet when you want to take a shit. I've seen porta potties and they traumatize me.
Because I always look down. I have a habit of looking down on the toilet before using it. And I don't really like what I see. So that's one way that libertarians could benefit from anarchists. And I know when I was first an anarchist, I was very skeptical of libertarianism because they don't talk a lot about hierarchies or states. They focus more on small governments. What you really got to focus on is what kind of government. You want a monocentric, vicarious government that's only going to vicariously help society? Or do you want one that's more direct, that will directly help society? Is that what you want? Well, you need anarchism for that. Because by writ of law, ordinary contractual agreements that only get you so far but by learning how to utilize a polycentric law and those properties to help not just give you liberties but hold anyone who holds down your liberties liable that's gonna be the saving grace that's gonna be the end-all be-all you gotta take that into account. You got that? And all in all, that's what you really need. Once that voluntary association comes, voluntary agreements will be made polycentrically through arbiters of any public or private kind to give you these said rights, whether it's an indoor toilet so you really want to take that shit and you don't like the outdoor toilets. Or something like freedom of speech. Liberty to speak. Better yet.